everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. A good feeling about next year. Oh no, come back here, you silly thing. Hey! Did you guys see a Super Bowl fly this way? Fujiki? I don't know. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It must be here somewhere. Come on, come on. Excuse me, madam. I'll have another. Sure thing. Better luck on this one. All right. I finally did it. I got the gold hero man card. <laughs> oh man, I'm so jealous you got two bags of Hero Man snacks! <sighs> if you want them so much, you can have them. Whoa, seriously? You can have this too. Thank you so much! You're really generous, Nagasawa! Yeah, bye. Whoa, a gold Hero Man card! <clears throat> cool! That's awesome, Joe! Man, that card's super hard to get. Give that back! I meant to give you this card, not that one! No! You can't ask for something back once you gave it to someone. Yeah, that puts you in the category of super stingy, Joe. Yeah, uh, it's... Uh, it's cold. Huh? Hey, what's the matter with you two guys? Why are you sitting outside in the freezing? cold like this because it's almost the end of the year and i lost a big rainbow colored super ball that i treasured more than anything else on earth after months of trying i finally got the gold hero man card but i accidentally gave it to kasugi right afterward is that all it's not so bad how dare you say that yeah that's right both nagasawa and i had absolutely nothing good happen to us for the whole year First, my 10 yen coin rolled under a vending machine and I couldn't get it back because it was bolted to the ground. And I was just sitting there when a bird did his business on me. And then there was the incident when I was late for school because every crossing light from my house to school turned red when I reached them, even though I was running because I'd slipped through my alarm. I had to take a sick day from school even though three of my favorite things were being served for lunch that day. What were they? Curry-flavored stew, deep-fried bread, and fruit cocktail. Oh, yeah, I guess that's just too bad, isn't it? I'm sorry, man. It's all well and good for you to say you're sorry. Someone told me that you got my deep-fried bread by winning a game of rock, paper, scissors, man. Who said that? It, it, it isn't true. Look, don't play ignorant with me. When I got to school, I asked what happened to it. Yeah. You actually went to the trouble to ask? To begin with, you dropped the 10 yen coin all by yourself, and the reason you were late for school was because you overslept your alarm, right? Even the Super Bowl was your fault because you failed to catch it when you should have. Everything you do is your fault. But, 
But why? Why mm. be so mean? There was another incident where there was no slice of fried pork in my bowl, even though I ordered fried pork noodles. That couldn't possibly be my fault, can it? <laughs> hey, no need to cry, Fujiki. I'm sure something good will happen to you by the end of the day. You mean that? Something good is really going to happen to me? <laughs> How could you be sure of something like that? To tell you the truth, it wasn't exactly the best year for me either. But there were days when great things happened. I went with Tama-chan to the amusement park wearing the dress that her mom had made for me and I had the most fun I've ever had in a single day. And when we had a recorder test, Tama-chan helped me out with that. That was a pretty touch-and-go situation there, but everything worked out just fine in the end. It sounds like all those good things happened to you because of Tama-chan. Huh? Yeah, I think you might be right there. I guess in the end it pays to have good friends, huh? Fujiki-kun, mm -hmm. hold on, let me get this straight. Are you trying to say that it's all my fault that nothing good has happened yeah. to you this year? No, I didn't mean it like that. I swear it, man. <sighs> it wasn't until he mentioned it that I realized everything good that's happened to me this year was because of Tama-chan. I think you should tell Tama-chan and thank her. Yeah, good idea. Uh, Maruko. <laughs> The next day. Mm. Uh, uh. My goodness, it's the Super Bowl I lost. Hmm? What is this? Ah! The Cold Hero Man card! Anyone home? Fujiki. Sakura, I got my ball back. Are you the one who found it? Huh? No, it wasn't me. It wasn't you? But I found my rainbow super ball in my mailbox and hardly anybody else knew about it. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, looks like something good finally did happen this year. I told you about it yesterday, so I thought it was you who returned it. Who else did you tell about the missing super ball besides me? Let's see. I told Nagasawa and the kids on the riverbank, Misawa and Wakabayashi. Hmm? It can't be Nagasawa. He said all those things to you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so maybe Misawa and Wakabayashi found it and brought it back to me. Anyone home? Nagasawa? Sakura, I need to know if you're the person who returned my gold Hero Man card to me earlier today. Eh? I guess it wasn't you after all. I found the gold Hero Man card that I accidentally gave away tucked into the gate at my house. Yeah, so I guess that means you did have something good happen to you this year. Yeah, but I still have absolutely no idea who did it for me. Do you think maybe Kosugi gave it back to you? I guess so. I'll go ask Kosugi now. That's weird. They both had things returned to them. On Sunday. Oh, wow. My mom made them especially for us. Oh, thanks so much, Tama-chan. And that makes yet another good thing that has happened to me this year. Uh, Misawa. What? Say, did you happen to put that Super Bowl that I lost yesterday back in my mailbox? What Super Bowl? It wasn't me. So it wasn't Misawa then. Kosugi-kun. Oh, uh, Nagasawa! Look, did you happen to go by my gate and, uh... Hey, thanks again for giving me this yesterday. Ugh, it wasn't Kusuki kun then. Delicious! So both Fujiki Super Bowl and Nagasawa's card were returned to them, huh? That's nice. Yeah, that's right, but we still have no idea who returned them. Come to think of it... Maruko! Huh? <laughs> What's the matter, Grandpa? I've got a gift for you, Maruko. Here. Champ branded Super Bowl! Well, I've been trying the capsule toy since yesterday, you see, and it took me a little while to hit the jackpot. Thanks so much, Grandpa! So every good thing that happened to you this year was because of Tama Chan, was it? Huh? Grandpa. Mm -mm. Lots of really awesome things happened because I was with you, Grandpa! There you go! No, oh, oh. Grandpa! <laughs> Oh, by the way, 
Yesterday, when I got a rainbow super ball, Nagasawa from your class was standing next to me, looking mighty jealous that I'd mm. got it. Here. Oh, 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 thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Ah. He kept saying Fujiki will be thrilled when he sees this. Hmm? That's what Fujiki said. When I went out with my mom to buy ingredients for pudding yesterday, I saw him down at the penny store. I got it. Huh? I finally scored it. The Golden Hero Man card's in my hands. He kept saying Nagasawa will be thrilled. Eh? Who gave me this? Who gave me this? Ah! 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 Nagasawa? Fujiki-kun. Hold, Hold on. on. So, so it, it was... was... So then, Nagasawa was the one who gave the Super Ball to Fujiki, huh? And that means Fujiki's the one who gave the Hero Man card to Nagasawa. Uh -huh. Hey, what do you say we play at Kokuzo? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Shall I tell them who returned their precious items to them? I think they figured it out by now. <laughs> Nagasawa and Fujiki both had something good happen to them due to their friendship with each other. And now they had a feeling something good would happen to them in the coming year. In this episode, Maruka watches out for fire. Yeah? A dream about a singing contest? Yeah, that's right. The bell rang a lot and I won the grand prize. Momoe-chan was a guest judge and she congratulated me. Such a cool dream. It was such a great dream that I began to wonder if I was dreaming after a little while. And I was praying that I didn't wake up in the middle of it. <laughs> Hats. Hats. Huh? Hats! Yamada. Oh, hey there, guys. Morning! Morning. Did you catch a cold? I sure did, Joe. Yeah? I'm really surprised you caught a cold. Why? Don't they say silly people never catch colds? I think that's one of the rudest things I've ever heard her say. I wet my bed in the middle of the night, Joe. My futon was all wet and clammy, and so I caught a cold, Joe. What? You wet your bed? You must have gulped down a couple of gallons of water to make that happen. I didn't drink. But I was up late watching a fire in my neighborhood last night, Joe. Huh? Fire? I'm surprised you didn't hear anything. There were sirens and fire trucks and the bells of a fire tower ringing really loudly in the distance. No, I didn't hear a thing. I slept the whole night through. You heard the bells, all right. You just made it a part of your singing contest dream. My dad said he was going down the street to see it. I asked him if I could tag along, Joe. <laughs> Yeah, but what does that have to do with wetting your bed, Yamada? Don't you see? I wet it because I saw a fire. Seriously? Yeah, they say a child will wet the bed after seeing a fire. So that's the reason. But my dad's bed was dry. <laughs> if adults wet their bed after seeing fire, then firemen would have an awfully difficult time at work. <laughs> Did you say you saw the fire? <gasps> Nagasawa. So what was it like? Was there anybody injured? It was at a dump site, and the firemen put it out really quickly. My dad said it was probably a casually discarded cigarette that caused it, Joe. Is that so? Throwing away a cigarette butt in a dump like that, I will never forgive them. Come on, Nagasawa. We don't know for certain that it was a cigarette butt that caused that fire. You don't know how terrible a fire is, Sakura, so you look at it all carefree and whatever. I know the truth. I used to have that same look on my face, undisturbed by tragedy. Oh, I've had the same face since I was born. It's awful. I wish I could rid the world of all fire. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> 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 I hope he pays for playing with fire. Out, out! <laughs> Nagasawa's got bigger problems than wetting his bed, huh? Mm -hmm.
In the winter, the air is dry, so it's scary to think that a fire tends to spread so easily. It's dangerous and scary and makes us wet the bed. It's a problem. Huh? Wet the bed? It's a known fact that us children wet the bed after seeing a fire, Mom. And you better be on the lookout as well, sis. Give me a break. I've never wet the bed in my life. That's your thing. Tee, 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 tee. That lack of caution will lead to bed wetting. Laughing at bed wetting will make you soon cry. <sighs> what kind of logic is that? Who does she think she is saying that she's never wet the bed in her whole entire life, huh? Ah! <laughs> Golly, the Sakura house almost burned down. How could Dad be so careless? I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind when I see him. Ah, that's much better. Mm. Oh. Oh. You're in big trouble. Well, right back at you. What do you think you're doing? That's what I was going to say to you. Leaving your cigarette could have started a fire, uh, Dad. You should be thanking me for saving everyone you care about. I left for a moment to go to the bathroom. That's all, Maruko. Look, Dad, if our house burned down because you went to the bathroom, I'll have a problem wetting the bed. Uh, Losing our house and wetting the bed is adding insult to injury. What nonsense are you talking about now? Uh, no more, it's empty. That's a good thing. It means you won't burn down the house now. That's good. Hey, so what's up with your dad? Oh, hey, Grandpa. I just saved our house from a raging inferno and bedwetting epidemic. A bedwetting epidemic? Good evening. Hello. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Grandpa. Please take care, okay? I know what I'm about. Huh? About what? The duty, dear. The duty? I see. So you walk around looking for fires. That's right, Maruko. It's our duty to keep the town safe tonight. It's your duty to keep the town safe, is it? Man, that sounds so cool, Grandpa. <laughs> With us on the lookout, nobody has to worry about their safety. Yeah. And I'll take on that burden as well. I'm actually worried that the safety of the town is resting on these three. Right. Here we go, Grandpa. Watch out for fire! A single match can burn a whole house down and make you wet your bed for years! <laughs> Maruko, what do you mean it causes bed wetting? Everyone knows kids wet the bed after seeing a fire. Yeah, I think I heard something about that. That's why everybody needs to be on the lookout. There's not going to be a fire or bedwetting incident on my watch tonight. I'm proud of you. You really care about people. <laughs> I doubt that. What are the buckets for? Well, there was a fire last night, so we decided to place water in buckets near each dump site just in case it happens again. It's best to be on the safe side, right? Wow, that's planning ahead, huh? Great! I'm going to work twice as hard now. Watch out for fire! <laughs> a match can burn a house down and make you wet your bed for years! Mm -hmm. What's the matter with you, sweetheart? I heard a strange voice, Mom. You heard a strange voice? It said a match would burn a house down and cause bed wetting. Huh? Uh, I probably imagined it. Uh. A match can burn a house down! Lots of bed wetting! <clears throat> Hello? <clears throat> oh, are you on oh. your way back from a bathhouse? That's right, the bath in my house is broken. Good seeing you. Actually, I was wondering if you'd take over the duty next week. Oh, of course. I'd be more than happy to do it. Good night, Nagasawa. Uh, Fire makes you uh, wet your bed, and it's really hard to clean uh, up, and it smells for ages. A single stray match can cause a fire in your home. Excuse me. Oh, what is it? I like to do it too, sir. Huh? huh? I like to do it too. Please let me, sir. Oh, sweetheart. You can still go home if you like, Mom. Yes, bud. Ah, that's so good of you. All right, then. I'll walk you home when we're finished, if that suits your mom. Ah, thank you very much, sir. Thanks so much for this. Take care of yourself, okay? Yep. All right, let's get back to it. Bad wedding is a problem that affects millions of kids and causes excess laundry to be done! Stop messing around like that. You're not helping anyone. Mm -hmm. Give me those things. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Watch out for a fire. A single match can cause a blaze. 
Playing with fire can leave lifelong scars. Dispose of your butts properly. Extinguish all candles before going to sleep. Be aware, fire's very dangerous. Take every precaution to prevent a fire in your home. Nagasawa. A single match could cause a blaze in your home. I'm amazed you can come up with so many phrases. Dispose of all butts in the proper manner! When it comes to fire, Nagasawa is unstoppable. Be aware of fire, or else you could end up paying for a moment of carelessness for the rest of your life! Look left, look right, look left again and put out fires! I hate fire from the bottom of my heart! Fire's the worst thing in the world! Would you keep it down? Come on! Ah! Nagasawa, I understand your feelings, but could you tone it down? I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Instead of keeping the town safe, we're being yelled at by people. <laughs> Everyone did a marvelous job. I think we'll call it a night now, okay? I'm glad that we didn't find anything unusual. I appreciate your help as always, old friend. Thanks so much for your help, Maruko and Nagasawa. <sighs> I'm happy. Mm. It's good to spend a night on watch and not find a fire. I think it's a wonderful feeling to keep the whole town safe while everyone sleeps. Don't you think, Nagasawa? You betcha! <sighs> you head to bed. We'll walk Nagasawa home, okay? Thank you. That's much appreciated. Uh, I'm gonna take a bath when I get home. What a good idea. Mm -hmm. Hey, look there. What do you think that guy's doing over there by the dump site? Hmm? My word! We've just found an arsonist in the act of starting a fire! Huh? Oh, hey, 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 hey! 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 Yeah! Yeah! Uh, 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 why? It was you, Dad! Uh, uh, hey, what are you doing out here, Hiroshi? Out to buy a pack. I just stopped for a second to light it up, and then he. Uh... Rather than doing anything about warming up Hiroshi, everyone in the group stands there speechless. <laughs>